we have started with the lesson chemical reactions and equations as you know this is our session 3 in session 1 and 2 we have covered the basic part of the lesson that is what is chemical reaction then how to balance the reaction then we have studied uh, like after balancing how to label how to notify the reactions like the writing the atoms gases liquids or solids whether it is in the aqueous form we have studied in the previous sessions also we have studied like uh, the types of chemical reactions like oxidation combustion then we have the double displacement and the decomposition reaction let's proceed if the lesson is very short one now here in the next part of the lesson we have the other type of reaction again we have the the like uh, apart from oxidation reduction displacement and decomposition we have oxidation and reduction so let's see because if we see in the difference what actually is the difference you will be you will find it very easier to learn so let's start children what actually is oxidation so as the word oxidation oxy the word you can just easily find out that there is oxygen there so in this oxidation reaction in any of the reaction where oxygen is added any of the reaction where oxygen oxygen is added that type of reaction is oxidation reaction whereas where oxidation is released or it is removed that is reduction reaction where oxidation oxygen is added that type of reaction is oxidation reaction where oxygen is removed that type of reaction is reduction reaction then we have that in the any of the reaction like for example electrons are loosed like if a particular element it is losing the electrons as i have told you earlier when we give away something we are a positive person like for example you donate your old books you donate your clothes you donate your old plastic bags you are a good person or if every time if you take it like you take books from the person you are taking your like materials from your friend you are a negative person so same way same theory applies here in the oxidation reaction it loses away the electrons so when it loses a when it loses the electron it's going to lose away the electron as we know electrons are negatively charged it loses its electron when it gives away it becomes positively charged so a any oxidizing is going any oxidizing it's give away the electron and it's going to be positive one it's going to gain the positive charge opposite to that in this case it takes away the electron so here a it's going to take away the electron so it's going to be negatively charged it accepts the electron and when it accepts the electron it's negatively charged okay now opposite to that look at this if it is gaining oxygen when oxygen is added obviously you are going to find there is the, the contrary it gives away hydrogen in the re the reaction where oxygen is added and hydrogen is released that type of reaction is oxidation reaction whereas the reaction where oxygen is released and hydrogen is added that type of reaction is reduction reaction now uh, like in this process obviously in a particular reaction when it gives away the electrons or it takes away the electron there will be some energy loss or it will be gain so in the case in this case it loses its energy it loses its energy why it loses its energy children because it gives away the electron it's giving the away the electron so it loses its energy in the reduction reaction it gains energy gains energy means what because it takes away the electron from the particular element it takes away the electron and it becomes negative charge so when it takes away electron and become negative charge it gains energy it it is adding up energy into the element so did you get the difference what is the difference it's very important question for your cbse exam children what is oxidation and 
reduction reaction. So in the let's revise once again. Addition of oxygen, it gains or loses. It loses the electron. Look away this. It gives away the electron. Subtracts hydrogen means it removal of hydrogen. Uh, you are going to find uh, the reaction in the reaction. Hydrogen is removed. It loses energy. Look at this reduction. How you are going to describe reduction reaction? Reduction reaction is it uh, gives away or you are going to find it uh, the hydrogen atom is released. Then it takes away the electron and become negatively charged. Hydrogen is added here, whereas oxygen is released. Hydrogen is added, oxygen is released. Your oxygen is added, hydrogen is released. And last one, it gains energy because it gains electrons. Did you get it? Let's proceed to the next part that is rancidity. It's very interesting part. Now children, uh, the food items, like for example, many a times you blame, like uh, look at the lace, uh, lace company, look at the kurkure company, they give like one packet, they are selling only five kurkure, yes, when kurkure sticks only five will be there. Or you are blaming the, uh, some cheetos or any other company, the cheetahs, many people they say, see what lace company, they give only, you give you five wafers, but those five wafers, like, it's not that they are fooling you. Yes, it's not that they are fooling you, but they are concerned. They are concerned about you. about you. How come? I'll just tell you. What happens in what is actually rancidity when fats or oil? Yes, it's a kind of chemical reaction in fats and oil when a particular substance is fried, like chutneys or any kurkure or chips. When they are fried. This fats and oil get like when it comes in contact with atmospheric air because air, air contains so many gases. So what is going to happen? They react with it. Fats and oil because the food items are fried into it. If they react with it and they are going to give a kind of a new product which is a not poisonous one but you are going to find a unpleasant odor or the, you are going to find a foul smell from that fried product. The chutney packet which is little local, you are going to find see other local products, so many chutneys they will give, so many wafers they will give. But there will be a tiny opening through which air can enter into the packet and it is going to spoil up the product. Apart from that, you will find this is a lace packet, only 5 chips they are going to give. Yes? And other it is filled with air. You are going to say, see it's the air only. But what type of air, what type of gas? They fill up, they make the environment nitro, they, they make an environment nitrogen rich. Because nitrogen, it's not going to react, it's an inert one, it's an inert gas. So it's not going to react with those fried items. So what is going to happen? Those chips, those five chips which they are going to give, it's going to be safe, it's going to be uh, edible for longer period of time. So now don't blame them that they are adding lot of gas into it but this gas yes is added to protect or to preserve the food item for longer period of time. So they create the inert atmosphere into the lace packet. Did you get it children? So the local products when you eat that chutneys, butter chutney and all you will find there is lot of chutneys 30 rupees you will get 20 chutneys or 15 I don't know what how many but you will get many chutneys there. But what is going to happen? Literally they sealed up the packet. So tiny through the tiny openings you will find air can enter into it. So once the air enters into it, it spoils up the packet. Yet it spoils up the product, food product. So indirectly it is going to give the unpleasant odor. Due to the reaction of fats and oil, it gives the unpleasant odor. Last one we have that is corrosion. Here it is. The, you are going to find the chemical reaction is happening between air and the fats and oil. Yes? Up, opposite to corrosion is not a new term. You have learned it. If I have a pipe or you look at just in your house, you look at the window uh, bars, iron bars. After few days, you are going to find a brown color layer on it. Yes, a brown color layer on it. What is going to happen every time due to rainfall or due to the sunlight or due to the air? 
what is going to happen the metal now here the metal which is used that is iron iron rods are used for making the window uh, panes or any bars or any yes the grills the net so this bar or this iron bar will be eaten up the metal literally is eaten up what actually the material actually is happening here this metal is corroded this metal is corroded due to the sunlight rainfall and air and a new product which is formed that is iron oxide the new product which is formed that is iron oxide so what we can do let's this is one example i take the other one let's take silver if i have an anklet the anklet which with its jewelry which we anklet is the uh, the chain which we wear in our uh, in that anklets then we have the bracelets silver bracelets after few days what happens children it turns blackish in color you're going to find there will be a dark color on it here also same thing happens it is exposed to the external conditions like rainfall we have sunlight then we have air so what is going to happen here this conditions provides it's going to provide a suitable condition where this silver is going to react with the external conditions and is going to get corroded so corrosion mainly this type of corrosion when it is related to iron it is known as rusting that means the metal iron is rusting a brown color layer is formed so what i can do how what i can do to remove this layer we can paint it i can paint this metal so that there will be no so there will be no direct contact with uh, sun and the metal i can alloy it that means the other metal layer can be applied on the surface alloying can help it out yes or i can galvanize it again i can layer it up with the other metal so as the not metal so that it's not going to get uh, corroded yes so this the other so the question will be asked in your paper what actually is corrosion what type of new products are formed yes and how it can be prevented so this is the method you can see alloying galvanizing tinning applying paint greasing oiling these are the methods to prevent crop corrosion so let's uh, end up children what end up actually just uh, let's see what we have studied in the lesson for lesson first uh, if you remember in session 1 we have studied about the chemical reaction what actually is chemical reaction when two or more product uh, reactants combine to give a single product then we have studied how to balance it reactants reactants combine to form a new product also we have different types of reaction combination a plus b gives c then combo or then we have the other one that is uh, displacement double displacement decomposition so etc we have studied session 3 we have oxidation reduction this is also a type of reaction many a times the differentiation is asked in your paper then we have studied the uh, the reaction that is rancidity that is the convert the unpleasant odor of into the food products due to the reaction of the fats and oil with the external uh, atmosphere or the air last part that is corrosion here it is the unpleasant say the reaction of fats and oils with the air here metals with the air and the rusting of 